We've got some disturbing footage. A King County woman is recovering after being thrown to the ground while she was shopping for groceries. Investigators say it all may have started as an incident of road rage, only to somehow come to a boiling point inside that store. The incident happened last Thursday in front of onlookers. Fox 13 News reporter Steve Kiggins live on Vashon Island, where he just spoke with the victim. So, Steve, this is very scary. Hannah, pretty really disturbing, right? The incident report says that this may have begun as an incident of road rage over at the lumber store across the street. And while the victim says she doesn't remember cutting anyone off while she was inside the grocery store here, she says all of a sudden there's this interaction and then a hand in her face, and then she ends up being tossed right to the ground. It's not the most pleasant experience to watch people sort of walking over you. I mean, I don't necessarily expect anybody to, to do anything. Obviously, it's like we're all pretty desensitized at this point, I think. It's not their place. They're just shopping. 27-year-old Desiree work on McIntyre is recovering and after her head was slammed into the ground where, inside like, the middle of Bashan Thriftway last Thursday. Surveillance cameras were rolling, and though the assailant is off screen to the right, McIntyre says after a brief altercation, he wrapped his hands around her face and slammed her under the floor. She says the altercation went from words to hands in a flash. I would really like this guy to be held accountable. That's that's the ultimate goal. That's I, I don't want anything else other than that. Is if he's acting violently towards people, he should probably be held accountable. It seems like kind of just the right course of action. Yeah. McIntyre met us in the Island Center Forest on Vashon. On it's a place that brings her peace and shade. She says besides the concussion, doctors at Tacoma General told her that she suffered from the impact. Now she says she's having trouble with light sensitivity and walks around with sunglasses. Investigators say witnesses describe the attacker as an older white man with short gray hair wearing glasses, stands around six foot one tall and weighs around 200 pounds. After watching the man check out with his groceries, witnesses could not see the license plate on his white small SUV. McIntyre seems to be in good spirits and hopes her attacker gets help, Before but anger, respond, she's not holding on to that. Uh, Honestly, like, at the end of the day, I'm f really not. I get that people have moments. What is being angry going to do for me? I, don't, I, I have no place holding that energy. It doesn't make a lick of sense for me to do that in my world. Now, McIntyre says she believes this attacker either is visiting or likely lives right here on Vashon Island before, because before he took off, apparently he went to the checkout counter and paid for his groceries. Checked with the King County Sheriff's Office and they tell us so far there's not been any arrests. What's interesting if this attacker ended up paying for those groceries with anything other than cash, detectives might have a pretty good way to track him down. We're live on Vashon Island tonight, Steve Kiggins, Fox 13 News. Thank you, Steve.